show our great pride in this wonderful, historic place of education. For more than 170 years, Valley Central Collegiate has been the very epitome of scholastic excellence. As the 2016 school year draws to a close, so does a great chapter in the history of Barrie and Simcoe County, Barrie Central Collegiate will be closing its doors for the last time. Sadly, our time has now come to an end, and this time the Phoenix will not arise from the ashes to live another day as the Barrie Central we know it. When you walk down the halls one last time, take a careful look at the school that influenced you in your younger days. Take a last look at the Central Wall of Fame, and the Book of Remembrance, be sure to soak in the feel of the halls, the library, this magnificent auditorium, the myriad of band pictures spanning the ages, the gym, whatever area you connect with. For some, the school you remember is no longer here as it was demolished and replaced, but the memories are still alive. Remember that you are a part of something that was so special to so many people. Our ship has now come to port one last time, the passengers and crew of the good ship BCI will all disembark in June of 2016, but the memories will live in all of our hearts. As you reflect upon your time here, I hope you think fondly of a place where we learn to see the world different, differently. Remember, smile because it happened. I'm here today to bring greetings on behalf of Chair Peter Beacock and the trustees of the Simcoe County District School Board, as well as Director Kathy Wallace and the senior administration team. Shared experiences are what tie us together, and everyone here this weekend is linked by the shared experiences of Barry Central Collegiate. Experiences, as Mr. Berker said, will live on in the hearts and minds of you long after June 30th of this year. Barry Central is not about just the walls that we are here, as it's been in multiple different places, but it's about the experiences and memories that you'll take forward from today. This is a celebration, not a a building or a bunch of buildings, not of an education or an institution of learning, but of a time of life, a spirit, a family of students and staff. Over 173 years, from a time when Canada wasn't even a country, before the wagon trains even headed west, Central was here. And since that time, Centralites like you and I have shared experiences and opportunities and friendships that no Viking and no wildcat could ever understand. <laughs> Barry Central Collegiate, historic pride, winning tradition. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the W.A. Fisher Auditorium one more time. <laughs> and what an honor. We tried so hard to get this gentleman to this assembly, and we finally did. Please welcome, from the original Barry Central graduating class of 1843, <laughs> Jebediah Radskin. Jebediah, Jebediah, right? Me and my brother Fresherton went to Central way back then, back when men were when and women were proud of it. <laughs> I don't remember what that means, <laughs> but I'm sure it was important. Man, is it ever hot in here. Oh, it's warm. This is going to be a two-pair underwear day for sure. <laughs> <sighs> oh, unbelievable. Anyway. They named the sports teams after us, Radishkins, but none of you young whippersnappers ever could spell where the tinkers dang, you know oh, that? that's what happened. Oh, okay. Well, sorry I'm late. Now, uh, uh, now, I hate these new cars. I got in mine today, and I couldn't figure out what to do. I couldn't find the accelerator, the steering wheel, uh, even the radio, nothing. Oh, they, they're, they're very different these days. Oh, no, no, no problem. It turned out that I got in the back seat by accident. Oh, okay. <laughs> Indeed. Yep. I've been in love with the same woman for over 39 years. Well, that's terrific. Not really. If my wife ever finds out, I'm <laughs> dead. 
There's no doubt our days here at Centre led us down our, careers, our career paths into television and radio broadcasting. Back in the early 70s, we were encouraged to participate as actors and MCs in assemblies and special events and to do the announcements every morning, including skits and commercials and the occasional bit of broadcast buffoonery from the offices of Victor Knox and Ron Mossett. I believe we may have been the catalyst for the development of the seven-second delay in broadcasting. I'm not sure. <laughs> the fact is that many of us here today owe so very much to this institution and to the people we learned with and learned from. We would like to give our next guest a bit of that credit for helping us and so many others find our place in this community. Now, do you remember how many of you here this morning were here in the 1960s, 70s, 80s, or 90s? One, two, three. <laughs> Do you, do you remember, do you remember the Christmas assemblies which the staff put on for you? Do you remember the song that many times we used to open that assembly? And what was it? Roll, you remember? Roll out the barrel, one, two, three, roll Whether you join John in assembly, played tenor sax, clarinet, or drums in one of the world's finest high school bands, performed in the glee club, sang out in our unforgettable musicals, or just sang your heart out on the bus to a rugby match, you know the love of music has been a very heartbeat of Central Collegiate. This very auditorium is named after one of the greatest high school band leaders in Canadian history. So many here had the pleasure of learning from and performing for uh, Dr. W. Allen Fisher. Music was uh, absolutely... Absolutely. Music was definitely a, one of our great loves, a part of our passion. And Central put Barry on the map for music lovers around the world. All right, well, I'll play a song for you here. Lovely to be here. Thanks for including me. I'm here with my wife and my daughter, and my mother's here. And uh, this is uh, fantastic. Thank you. So I'll play a song. It's... Uh, it's a song, there's no irony in it, it's just about uh, you know, being with someone that you care about and believing in them and, and really wanting to pump them up and you, know, you, you hope for the best for the, for the people that you love. It's called Stronger Than That. <clears throat> size of a beast with a bark like a big kick drum tell me what does it take to get a mouth that makes every old man around you seem so young and I know you're afraid of falling flat and I know those walls are up against your back and I know there are those who'd see a crack Yes, I know that you're stronger than they are. Yeah, that's my daughter over there. She gets pretty excited, you know, I get to play on the guitar and everything. She gets a little more excited when I do Old MacDonald and, you know, the really established hits. She doesn't care for my music very much, but that's okay. It's only a few minutes, you know. And we'll get to that barbecue, and she likes hamburgers and hot dogs and all the rest of the stuff, too. Anyhow, what I really wanted to get to was this really important stuff. At the end of this song here, I was trying to find a way to make it real spicy for you, make it exciting to commemorate the special weekend. And, you know, this song's very simple. I don't know if how many of you are musicians, but it's got G chord, it's got C chord, it's got a D chord in there, too, and that's quite nice. But uh, really what I'd like to do is throw in a surprise just to, you know, make it real exciting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in an F chord at the end of the chorus. I like to call it a Golden Girls chord because it's just something about it just conjures up images of Blanche and the whole rest of the bunch for me. And that's a very nice, you know, I love that. If you had a party, I love that song. So, so when we get to that chord, I'm sure you'll recognize it. Just watch out for it. Don't let it slip by. Here we go. So here comes that last verse, just the way you like to have it done. All right? It goes like this. 
If you're feeling bad, wave your hand at a cab and hitch your ride to the other side of the town. I'll be standing there to be the taxi's fear and lend an ear, dry the tears of a friend who's down. And I know you're afraid of falling flat, and I know those walls are up against your back. And I know oh, there are those who'd see you crack But I know that you're stronger than that Oh yeah, baby You know, some of these younger artists, they'll get to really rocking out and trying to impress you with their outfits and all their light shows and everything But what I do? Timeless Thanks very much. Right on. Uh, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, AP is a very talented individual who is a little busy writing songs and touring to actually make it here for his graduation. So today is the day. Actually, first I should say I'm honored to be here in this auditorium that was built not by the County of Simcoe, but by the City of Barrie. Some of the laking hard-earned dollars went into the fundraising for this building and it should stay in the city of Barrett. I have in my hand a book of Julius Caesar printed in 1910 with my father's name in the fr front of it. It says Duncan F. McCuig, BCI, Barry. My father was born in 89. This book is printed in 1910. I think it tells a story of the privilege that many of our early students had. That would have made him 21 when he was at BCI. And the story behind that is that he was the youngest of a number of sons in the McCoy family. One became a dentist. One went to BCI with a fellow by the name of T.P. Loblaw, who came in from Alston for the continuation, from the continuation school there to finish his grade 13 at BCI. And my father probably had to stay and work on the farm and save some money before he had the privilege of coming to high school. He went on to university, Osgood Hall, became a lawyer, became a member of parliament, and had a very distinguished career. I came to the school as a student in 1943, but in 1940 and 41 and 42, I came over from Victoria Street School to play in Alan Fisher's orchestra. How many of you knew that Alan Fisher started his music career at this school with an orchestra? Didn't last long. 
It takes a lot longer to make a string player sound decent than it does to make a clarinet player sound decent. <laughs> North Collegiate, it was built in 1956. It is older than any piece of wood in this present standing school. So I'll just wind up with the best thing that happened to me at Central Collegiate. <laughs> I met my husband, John. He was a Prince of Wales boy, and I was a Victoria Street School, public school girl, and we have now been together for, I don't know, 64 years or something. <laughs> and have six wonderful children who are graduates of this school, and who will, just as I today mention my father's early days in BCI will reminisce about their days, the school will not die. The rationing of food is severe in England. I hope you're getting enough to eat where you are. I barely eat myself. I'm trying to save every crumb for you. The price of flour is higher than I've ever seen. Soldiers here are beginning to talk of victory. They say that the Germans are getting worn out. They say we, we are, are winning. winning. We keep moving east. Most days are relatively quiet. I think that's a good sign. My brother Richard was killed in a flying accident training here in England. He hadn't even left for the front. He was buried here. I don't know what I'm gonna write to mother. I wish this were all over. I wish you were here. The towns we pass through are all flying the French flag. It's mostly women and old men. The young men seem to have been taken as prisoners. Did they tell you when you'll be turning around? Dear Kathleen, we're in a town called Hasnan. We spent today burying 15 civilians. Kathleen, our children will never have to go through what we've been through. We've done our bit and more. When this is all over, I don't want to waste any time. I know I ought to do this in person, but Kathleen Barwick, will you marry me? I just wanted to mention that the two characters that we're playing both went to Barry Collegiate Institute. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd ask you to please rise in honor of the wartime roll call of the men and women of Barry Central, lest we forget. This is a day both uh, wonderful and terrible for all of us, isn't it? It's terrible because we're losing our school, but it's wonderful because we are seeing our friends and our colleagues, our teachers that made such a difference in our lives, and it is a day of reunion as well as a day of remembrance. It was nearly 90 degrees at 3 in the afternoon on this 15th of September, 1868, and Jack was starting the long walk home from high school. Like boys of his age everywhere, Jack was thinking about his friends. Barry Collegiate Institute had only about 100 students, but they came from all over the county. Most came off the farms of Vespera, Innisfil, Essa, Oro, Medante, Aurelia townships. But Jack's best friend was a townie, Walter, the son of a merchant. Wally's dad owned a dry goods store in the tiny but growing commercial district of Barry. Wally and Jake's friendship was a bit unusual the bookish storekeeper's son and the brawny farmer's kid didn't have a lot in common, but school was the tie that bound. Although Canada was barely a year old, Barry Central Collegiate, or Barry Collegiate Institute was 25 years old that year and had already counted Simcoe's most prominent citizens among its graduates. And already it had shown one of its greatest values as an institution, namely bringing students from widely varying backgrounds together to learn. As time passed and Barry grew, Barry Collegiate grew with it, moving to a new building at Dunlop and Bradford Streets. Wally and Jake, between them, saw three grandsons march from the doors of Central to heed the Empire's call to arms in 1914. None came home the same. The Depression bore down on Barry, but the city was lifted up by the new and stunning Barry Central Concert Band under its indomitable leader, W.A. Fisher. And then Central sent its boys to fight again to the ships that fed the war efforts, 
to the killing fields in France. Too many names went straight from the Barry Central yearbook, straight to the Cenotaph, far too young. By the time the guns fell silent again in Europe, Barry Central was as intrinsic a part of Barry as Kempenfelt Bay, consistent in its relentless seasonality. As school started in late summer, students toiled through the darkness of fierce winters, and spirits rose and graduates departed in the late spring. This was the constant institution on the hill, through whose doors every Barry child passed. Its graduates included, well, everybody. But it was the post-war period in which Barry Central showed another most unique characteristic, the ability to excel not just locally or regionally or nationally, but globally. Fisher's Band became Barry's first global export, winning competitions in Europe and the United States, showing that this small central Ontario town had something to show the world. Surrounding townships and the people of Barry paid to build this hall for this band, forever to be a community building. Cent <laughs> Central's technical, physical, arts, and music programs produced Olympians, professional athletes, actors, actresses, musicians, leaders in business, and even some of us politicians. Hard work. Hard work would take its classics club to number one, its football and rugby teams to number one time and again, and of course its world-beating band, Central, always punched above its weight, and it became a point of pride for this city. <laughs> Labor omnia vincent, work conquers all. A fitting motto indeed, not just for this school, but for a city that work has always defined from the weirs and drying racks of the fishing villages of the Wendat people, from time immemorial to the Anishinaabe, to the first European settlers who carved an unlikely life here out of harsh winters, to the pioneers of industry in the 20th century and the leaders of today. Barry Central is Barry. There's no daylight between the two. Labor omnia vincit, work conquers all. Fitting motto, indeed, for a country that's herself an improbable experiment in tolerance, which ties together thousands of miles of wilderness with a federalism of peace, order, and good government. Diversity and supporting each other is hard work. How quintessentially Canadian, then, is Barry Central Collegiate. Labor Omnia Vincent, when Barry Central needed a new home four years ago, three other great Barry institutions worked hard for two years on a plan to save money and build a new building for BCC. Those institutions were the city, Georgian College, and the YMCA. Please join me now in thanking them for their efforts to save this school. So now to the end, an end brought on not by neglect of a building or even lack of dollars, but rather the unwillingness to try something new. It's easy. It's easy to tear things down. It's harder to restore them. Sadly, this school's motto did not carry the day with those deciding on its future. Labor omnia vincit, work conquers all. So in the end, as in the beginning, a fitting model for an institution that taught us values too often in short supply, equality, tolerance, and above all, hard work. For an institution is far more than bricks and mortar, far more than names or books or plaques or banners or trophies, though together those are its memories. An institution is those values, a collective expression of what's important, a living thing with a culture its own, the embodiment of people at their best. High school can be a difficult time, but Central helped us to learn, to live, to love, to fall down and get back up again. Those values will be what all of us carry forward in perpetuity. We will all be Centralites for the rest of our lives. We will all be Centralites, but it's those values that we will give our kids and which will live on 
for generations. And that's why I know I can say with confidence, long live Barry Central Collegiate, you brought out the best in us. We're just so happy uh, that you're here. We're extremely grateful that all of you made such efforts to be here and we certainly know that an event like this doesn't happen on its own and I won't name them individually now because I have uh, before but and and the speakers ahead of me have done such a phenomenal job of, of rec like accolading them so I just from the bottom of my heart thank you so much for all of the volunteers and the support that you have given throughout the entire year process that we've taken to this point. You are amazing people to work with. Now you're hearing something, oh, we can see the glimmer of history so bright. Phoenix from the flames, we will rise together, they will know our names. Can you feel it? Central standing strong, we're always gonna feel this way. Just like a phoenix from the flame I wish that we could stay inside this moment Look around the room and smile for here we are We're glowing with our sand Pride Phoenix from the flames, central pride forever. Tradition, our in transition. Central is the part that bear we will be missing. Losing the bricks and mortar won't crush our spirits, baby. Now, yes, so come on. Oh, when today is over, Central is forever. Central pride forever, they all know.